Chao Honglian asked with a cold smile. On Wei Dinghai's face, there was also a mocking expression as he leaned back in his chair. Indeed, a young hero. Zhang Yi, you are really talented. But this is an important matter. You shouldn't put everyone in danger for a bit of personal desire. Xing Tian also spoke to Zhang Yi, didn't you say that things are very difficult right now? Don't resist. Just listen to them. Zhang Yi's smile grew even more pronounced. He lazily replied, Do you think I'm joking with you? No. I'm truly sorry for this awkwardness. The fact is, the problem of zombies and giant mutated creatures around our hiding area has been resolved. Everyone's faces showed surprise. This was no child's joke. Zhang Yi spoke very seriously, not as if he were joking. But if what Zhang Yi said was true, it meant that while everyone was risking their lives fighting zombies and rat swarms, Zhang Yi was just standing by and watching. The leaders of the major forces began to look displeased. I don't believe it, how could you have done that? Xiao Honglian angrily slammed the table, staring at Zhang Yi, hoping to hear him say it was just a joke. It was unacceptable. Her base also suffered heavy losses. How could Zhang Yi have easily overcome it? Bian Jiwen Wu also looked at Zhang Yi with curiosity. Zhang Yi, with a leisurely smile on his face, calmly said, What I said is entirely true. If you don't believe me, you can go and investigate yourself. Bian Jiwen Wu asked, How did you do that? I'm really curious. Everyone's eyes were on Zhang Yi. Although they were internally resentful, they urgently needed a solution to deal with the zombies and rats. If they could learn from Zhang Yi, it would be great. Zhang Yi crossed his arms and spoke seriously, actually, it's simple. Zombies see humans as food, so they will gather where there are many people. In Tianhai City, where is the most populated place? It must be the strongholds of major forces. My place has the fewest people, not even ten in total. Moreover, it's in a relatively deserted suburb. Naturally, it doesn't attract many zombies. Zhang Yi sighed, but even so, the battle with them was extremely fierce. After a long time, I discovered that among them, there was a zombie king commanding them. This zombie king is intelligent and can create new zombies. Therefore, only by eliminating the zombie king can we completely destroy a nest of zombies. The large rats and zombies have a symbiotic relationship. When the zombies are eliminated, the large rats lose their target and will no longer actively attack humans. We risked venturing into the underground tunnels, using all the weapons we had obtained from the Shishan base. After many days of arduous fighting, we finally killed the zombie king and resolved the zombie threat in that area. Zhang Yi's words were a mix of truth and lies. Most of it was true, but he had concealed the actual method he used to deal with the zombies. After all, only Zhang Yi possessed a large space ability that could bring seawater to freeze the subway tunnels. If he disclosed this, other houses, including Jiangnan region's envoy Bianjuan Wu, might pressure him to support resolving the zombie issue. Not to mention whether it would be effective, at least at the moment, Zhang Yi had no intention of doing so. Zhang Yi continued, according to your words, if our local forces can protect our territory well and maintain stability, then is it necessary to follow your orders? Of course, we are very willing to cooperate with the investigation team. If you need our help, just say the word. As long as it's something we can do, we will definitely not hide it. At this stage, we still hope to focus as much energy as possible within our own territory. After all, you all know that we have the fewest people here. Bianjuan Wu spoke, you have done very well. This also shows that your base has extraordinary intelligence and strength. In the subsequent actions, we will need to use your forces. Zhang Yi, with a gentle smile on his face, said, if needed, feel free to command. He wanted to save face for the Jiangnan region. Moreover, Zhang Yi didn't want Tianhai city to be truly destroyed. As long as it didn't harm his interests, he would help Bianjuan Wu deal with the zombies and large rats. Bianjuan Wu nodded, then I will thank you in advance. So, starting now, I need you to unconditionally cooperate with our actions, share all the information you have at hand. Regardless of any past grievances, you must set them aside for now. Trin Dat Tian frowned and said, Next, let's discuss how to resolve the threat from the zombies and large mutated creatures. 
In this crisis, their Baishiwa sect has undoubtedly suffered the heaviest losses. By the end of today, at least four to five thousand of their people have died. At this moment, a sudden commotion erupted outside. Everyone instinctively looked towards the sound. Wei Dinghai frowned because he heard Chen Jingwan's voice. Outside, Chen Jingwan was loudly saying, So what if people from the Jiangnan region are here? With a gloomy face, Chen Jingwan said to Invincible, What's so special about those from the Jiangnan region? They're no different from ordinary people. Remember, I was once part of the navy. If you have the guts, come here and fight me. Chen Jingwan had long been suppressing his emotions. He was a wealthy man, prominent before the apocalypse. He was a member of the upper class in Tianhai City. When the apocalypse came, he awakened his supernatural abilities, becoming the second in command at the Xiaoyu base. However, the investigation team from the Jiangnan region looked down on him, treating him as if he were a nobody. Chen Jingwan couldn't accept being looked down upon by others. Sitting in the meeting room, Wei Dinghai thought, What on earth is happening? Bian Jiuan Wu sensed Wei Dinghai's gaze and turned his head to ask, What's going on? Wei Dinghai replied, Nothing, just a minor dispute among the subordinates. Xing Tian suddenly laughed and said, This doesn't affect us anyway. Bian Jiuan Wu didn't care much. Oh, just a minor dispute? Let the subordinates handle their own matters. We have more important things to discuss. Bian Jiuan Wu had no intention of getting up. Everyone sat back down around the table to continue their discussion. Invincible pointed and laughed, saying to Kong Sheng, Look, he's showing his temper. Kong Sheng sneered with contempt, A useless person like him can do nothing but get angry. Invincible said, But he has challenged us. If we don't respond, won't it seem like we're afraid of him? Kong Sheng nodded. I also don't like being looked down upon. Even if I'm not affected, we can't let these small timers think the Jiangnan region is insignificant. Chen Jingwan pointed at the two of them and shouted, Go ahead, everyone here has supernatural abilities. Let's see how strong you really are. Kong Sheng narrowed his eyes and slowly stepped forward. Fine, I'll show you the strength of superhumans from the Jiangnan region and see what kind of power small timers like you have. As the battle was about to begin, the major factions around them gathered, their eyes fixed on the two people standing on the field. They were eager to see how strong the people from the Jiangnan region really were. Chen Jingwan looked at Kong Sheng and secretly laughed. He chose to challenge Kong Sheng because he had assessed from Kong Sheng's movements that he possessed enhancement abilities. Kong Sheng raised both hands, preparing for a wrestling stance. Simultaneously, his body unexpectedly began to shine with a blue light. His skin and flesh seemed to transform into steel. Kong Sheng, a superhuman with enhancement abilities, possessed the supernatural power to turn his body into hard steel, granting him extraordinary defense and attack capabilities. Uncle Vu, observing from afar, couldn't help but comment, the person from the Jiangnan region will face severe consequences. Chen Jingguan's abilities are strange and are a perfect counter for close combat. Uncle Vu had previously lost to Chen Jingguan and if it hadn't been for timely assistance, he might have been killed by him. Liang Yu, watching Kong Sheng, began to speak. But the opponent is also a master. By observing his movements and breathing, I can see that. No one knows for sure what the final outcome will be. In battles between superhumans, there is no absolute strength or weakness. The important thing is the ability to adapt to the actual situation. Chen Jingguan calmly raised a finger towards Kong Sheng, signaling him to come forward. Kong Sheng smiled slightly. Even though he knew that the first person to strike often exposes their weaknesses, he was not afraid. In just a moment, he rushed towards Chen Jingguan like a whirlwind, in front of everyone. Chen Jingguan moved so quickly that many people didn't even notice. However, Kong Sheng noticed and delivered a powerful side kick towards Chen Jingguan's back. He controlled his strength, as a full-force kick could have shattered Chen Jingguan's head. But when Kong Sheng's foot made contact with Chen Jingguan, he didn't feel the expected hardness. Chen Jingguan's body was soft, as if boneless. Kong Sheng frowned, surprise evident in his eyes. Immediately, Chen Jingguan's body began to twist and wrap tightly around Kong Sheng's right leg. He gave Kong Sheng no chance to escape, sticking to him like chewing gum, coiling around Kong Sheng's thigh. In a short time, 
Chen Jingwan had wrapped himself tightly around Kong Sheng. He deformed like a giant snake, winding his body around Kong Sheng's. Seeing this, Kong Sheng immediately struggled to break free from Chen Jingwan's restraint. But no matter how hard he tried, every effort was swiftly countered by Chen Jingwan, and each time Kong Sheng struggled, Chen Jingwan tightened his grip even more. Don't struggle anymore. If you continue like this, I'm afraid I might accidentally break your bones, Chen Jingguan whispered into Kong Sheng's ear. No matter how strong you are, once I wrap you up, escaping will be difficult. You should accept defeat. Chen Jingguan's words sent a chill through Kong Sheng. His right hand contorted into a blade aimed towards Chen Jingguan's body to strike. However, despite his formidable strength, his blade, when it made contact with Chen Jingguan's body, proved ineffective beyond tearing open Chen Jingguan's clothing to reveal his inner body. It caused no further harm. Chen Jingguan laughed loudly. I told you, those of the reinforcement system who face me can only surrender. If you still refuse to yield, I will have to break your bones. Mutants from Jiangnan are just ordinary people after all. Don't underestimate us, he continued, leaving Kong Sheng trapped. Unable to move his limbs, facing such a formidable opponent, onlookers almost unanimously concluded that Kong Sheng had lost the ability to counterattack. Uncle Vu couldn't help but recall his own experiences, shaking his head. The outcome was clear. However, just as Kong Sheng was seemingly blinded and unable to move, he suddenly tilted his head and aimed straight at Chen Jingguan, then grinned widely. A small, sharp dagger blade shot out from his mouth, striking Chen Jingguan directly in his left eye, blood spraying everywhere. Chen Jingguan screamed in agony, the intense pain causing him to lose the strength to restrain Kong Sheng any longer. Kong Sheng quickly seized the opportunity to push Chen Jingguan away. Kong Sheng laughed heartily. I thought even your eyes could turn into weapons. Turns out, on your tongue. He licked his lips, revealing the small dagger blade that had just been in his mouth. Uncle Vu couldn't contain his astonishment. Kong Sheng had even reinforced the tip of his tongue into a dagger to stab and tear Chen Jingguan's eye. This sudden change in the situation left everyone around horrified. Initially, everyone thought Chen Jingguan would surely win, but no one anticipated this reversal of fortune. With his right eye now injured and searing in pain, Chen Jingguan gritted his teeth and demanded, How do you know my weakness? Kong Sheng chuckled. Your body can turn elastic, but if even your eyes undergo transformation, you'll be blinded. Isn't that right? Eyes can see because they receive light and transmit it to the retina. If Chen Jingguan's eyes were to deform with light, it would twist and lead to blindness. Thus, Kong Sheng had predicted that Chen Jingguan's weakness was his eyes. This time his prediction was correct. Kong Sheng laughed loudly and told Chen Jingguan, quickly, go treat your wounds. Otherwise, you may not survive. In such a harsh environment, being injured was no small matter. Though unhappy with his defeat, Chen Jingguan knew that next time, he would need to be more careful. Not revealing weaknesses before Kong Sheng, he believed he would surely win next time. However, the current defeat was a defeat, it could be said that if Kong Sheng hadn't controlled it, he could easily have killed Chen Jingguan just now. Chen Jingguan, with a gloomy face, quickly boarded the use of medicine to hold blood and bandage wounds. This battle ended quickly and the investigation team from Jiangnan won a clean and quick victory without any obstacles. Shortly after Kong Sheng defeated Chen Jingguan, he still feels unsatisfied and tells everyone around. If anyone sees themselves as having power, they can also join me in fighting. Everyone clearly sees that Kong Sheng and his team are building credibility, but when they see Chen Jingguan easily defeated, others naturally do not want to engage in this. No one volunteered to join the battle, Kong Sheng felt sad and then quietly turned and left. In the second floor meeting room, Wei Dinghai hears the horrible screams of Chen Jingguan outside, he feels a little uncomfortable. However, he could not do anything because Bian Zhu and Wu and other great leaders were discussing the combat strategy. After exchanging information, Bian Zhu and Wu put both hands on the table and began to present the battle order. Very good, we have listened to the intelligence from all of you. Combined with the information we have gathered, we now know what we must do next. The entire crowd's eyes were filled with expectation. The Jiangnan region has its own intelligence network that is incomparable to others. From a distance, Bianzhu and Wu looked through the large window, 
scanning across the crowd and continued, through our investigation, we have discovered that zombies prefer to raid densely populated areas. The more people there are, the more determined they are to attack. Because of the relationship between the rat swarm and the zombies, they will definitely follow the zombies. Therefore, once we handle the zombie issue, dealing with the rat swarm should no longer be difficult.